So this is the beginning of my elk antler floor lamp project. Starting with four elk antler sheds of various sizes and shapes. Got some clamps to hold everything together when everything's up and being glued. The workings of the lamp. Some dowels and metal bolts for getting everything clamped together and held in place. And some Gorilla Glue. Wiring kit and some other various tools. Gonna get started on this and see how it comes out. So almost finished with the lower portion of the lamp. Ended up with three connection points. On this lower one here, I put a metal bolt in there because it was putting too much stress on a wooden dowel in that position. But the other two, like here and up on top, I just used wooden dowels and uh, they seem to be working just fine. Next step is gonna be to glue these all in place and then get started on the upper. So I'm using Gorilla Glue to hold everything in place and I just applied it as well as the metal and wooden dowels. Put the clamps on to hold everything in place to keep anything from slipping. So at this point I'm just waiting for the glue to dry and then I can start up here on the electrical work. So I finished with all the gluing and assembly and now I'm started on the electrical work. I've drilled a hole up here in the top that will hold the base of the lamp and then I'm working my way down drilling holes that will later be filled to accommodate the wiring. Over here, I'm putting in a rheostat, so I've drilled out a, a little space here, and uh, this will end up being a dimmer switch for the, for the lamp. So all the wiring is complete. I've got my rheostat in place here, but where I put my wires through, I have all these holes now, and they aren't uh, very appealing, so I'm gonna fill them back in with some of this epoxy putty. It's an AB putty, so you mix two pieces together and it hardens about in 10 hours. So this is what it actually ends up looking like. And I can texture it a little bit and then sand it down a little bit later. So the lamp is finished, uh, but in between this video and the last one, I failed to video some of the steps I've taken, so I'll just try to cover them in this video. On the areas where I'd use the epoxy putty, uh, at the suggestion of a local taxidermist, I used some latex primer over the top of it and then used some mini wax wood finish stain uh, to bring the color to something that was a little bit more natural, similar to antlers. I also used that same stuff, that same wood finish, to bring out some of the texture on the antlers, just with a rag and some of the, the finish on the rag, just wiping up and down, and it, and it brings out a lot more of the texture of the antlers. The area around my rheostat here turned out pretty well. This is that same epoxy putty, and I just had to mold it around where the edges of the rheostat were, and then I used the same latex primer and stain to bring it back to a color that's pretty similar. I had some trouble with finding a rheostat that uh, would work for this project because I was, I was hoping to have a rheostat, uh, this kind of dial rheostat like this, that I could embed that would work with LED lights. I did finally find this one, it's a Lutron, and uh, it, it works quite well for this, for this LED light bulb that I have up here, and uh, I haven't had any problems with it yet. As sort of an afterthought, I decided that I was going to put a little table on here, and what I ended up doing was using, this is actually an old piece of a burl that was sliced into multiple pieces, and then I just took some stain, stained it, varnished it, and then I cut out a little chunk right here by the antler so that it would fit around there. And then over on this side, this is where I drilled a little hole so that uh, I could put a bolt in, and that bolt goes all the way into, the, into this piece of wood, and that's what holds it in place. So this lamp originally started out as sort of an experiment to see what would happen, and after a little bit of trial and error, it seems to have turned out pretty well. Started with four elk antlers, this slice of burl, and some electrical parts, various other tools, and I'm pretty happy with what I ended up with.